Is the light, no, just tell me if there's a light on. There's a red light right there. No, not that light. This no. light, that's not on? No. Wait, wait, tell me if it's right. Okay. Is it on now? No. There you go. It's on? Oh, yeah. it's real too bright? <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, wait, wait. Wait a second. I'm supposed to be able to aim this. I'm not going to use this. Okay, is it off? No. Not no, off? It is. No. is it off now? Yeah. Okay. Oh my God, I see spots now. <laughs> is it real bright? Yeah. Too bright. A little. Uh, all right. Here, hold up the book that you're reading. Okay. Small miracles. Extraordinary coincidences from everyday life. Okay. I've got to read that. Okay, you can put it down. Okay. And these are, oh, let's see, these are models in the haircut place. Section. All right. Here's the time. Look, we just swiveled into position to record. Okay, we'll turn I have the book. Let me get the book. Can we show me the book and I'll, I'll feel more comfortable when I have One the book second. in my hand. Are you both reading it? It's mine and I'm getting it. Oh, oh, it. oh, I see. <laughs> okay, this book is Small Miracles. It's one of the best books I've ever read in my life. It's about extraordinary coincidence that happen in everybody's life. For example, once upon a time, there was a couple, they got married at 18 years old, and yes, they were very happy. And what happened is, is she had a diamond ring from her husband when she was 18, and she lost it. And she had the diamond ring for 18 years. And she was devastated. She looked all over the place for it, and it went down on the bottom of the lake when her and her husband went on a boat ride. So, <laughs> don't laugh at me. <laughs> so what happens is, is that her husband says, honey, don't worry, I will find the diamond ring. So they look all over, he looks all over the water for the diamond ring and he can't find it. Now he's devastated because he has to tell his wife that he can't find the ring. And she sa he says, don't worry, I'll buy you another one, and the next one will be twice as big. And she says, honey, I don't want another diamond ring. The, that showed me the value, the money isn't the value of the issue. I, want, I love the diamond ring because that was 18 years of our love together and with all the good and bad times that we have shared in life. It was a sentimental value of the ring. So now he feels terrible. And he says, well, we have the ring for the insurance money, so we will buy furniture with it, even they really don't need it. So the money went for the, the house, for the furniture for the house. So meanwhile, her children are around 15, 17, and 18 years old, and every weekend they go to camp. And what happens is that every weekend when they go to camp, um, one of the 17-year-old the gentleman says, I don't want to go to camp this week because we always do it. Let's do something different. I'm getting older now. I don't want to go to camp with mom and dad anymore. So he says, well, why don't we go to the small village? Why don't we go to the small cottages where we, where I'll take you to the small cottages where you're, where before you children were born, where your mother and I used to go before we were married. So the 
the 17 year old says, geez, that'll be great, let's go. So they take him to the small cottage and they go fishing. And the mother decides to, um, not to go, but the father goes with the children. And what happens is, is that they catch a fish. Well, they pick up this huge fish and they bring it home and they're so excited. So they look, so he, the, the, the wife carves the fish out and guess what? It's the diamond ring. Can you believe it? That's I think if you get it, it might be 800. But that would, but it's better than a thousand. No, you're right. Money's money. Two hundred bucks. It's two hundred bucks. Two hundred more bucks. I have in my pocket. What's she laughing about? Okay. So would you like a half an inch? At least you're so thin you don't even cast a shadow. Oh, God. I don't see a shadow at all. I'm so fat I can't fit on the screen. Get out of here. They have to take my picture twice in order to get me out of here. You gotta hurry up and come down here. They have me on camcorder. Larry Not does, day. and I'm, I'm doing a story. And I swear, it's so good. You gotta listen to the story. And it's a, it, it's a big, it's a big picture he has. He has like one of those camcorders my customer does. And then right on the side of it, it like you tell a story and you can you see yourself. It's a picture of yourself. And I'm telling everybody a story. He can't save it. Can can you make a copy for me and yeah. I'll pay it there? Yeah, I can make a copy. Sure. Okay, and I'll pay you for it. You don't have to pay me. You gotta just. You if, can't yeah. come down. I'll make a copy. I'll be. I'll make a copy. It takes two seconds to make a copy. Oh, how how are you gonna get home then if you don't have a car? Well, you, can you give him a call? Do you know where he went? Well, maybe he'll be back in time. Okay. No, you're. I will. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's easier to give you the CD. You make a tape. And Why then... did somebody take that on me? I'm so I don't know. That. I don't think somebody took it on purpose, to be honest with you, because people like aren't like that here. I think it just got lost in the clutter, or it fell on the ground, and somebody thought it was dark. You know what I mean? I believe you. Oh, there's me. All I see is this ball of hair. <laughs> it's me, Entertain today. <laughs> so, Larry, how much does it cost for your entertainment for today? Wait, look, if I go, this, it's like I saved $6.50 today. Huh? I saved $6.50 today. $6.50? $6.50. Because, 50 6 cents. 50 cents because oh. that's how much the show is. If you go to the movies, $6.50, mm -hmm. and here the show is for free. <laughs> <laughs> I see. You know, you know, it's kind of scary. All my customers say that. I'm going to start getting paranoid and think that, you know, something's going on. <laughs> like, I don't know. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Right, Lynn? Get that, Kristen. No, she's not. Get her. There she goes. Get her face. Kristen, look at the camera. Wave. Okay. Christmas must be coming. There's all Christmas bows around here. You should have a television or a VCR. Do you want this clip or two or no? I don't, I don't want to go that short one. Don't forget I have my bang. Okay. Yes. Okay, if I...
Is it on? Okay, it's on. Now, this is before Larry had his hair cut. This is what Larry looks like with all his little curls and little ringlets. Now, we will show you after. Is it recording? Yeah, okay. Now, okay, you can do the narrating. Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, before you saw Larry's cut before, when it was all curly, when it was all nice and curly. Now, this is after. Beautiful. Look at the style. <laughs> it's right in place. It's nice and short over the ears. Down here, it's nice and trim, a good half an inch to an inch. And up here, it's a little bit longer. And then what I do is I put the Super Sculpt Gel on. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you can get this Super Sculpting Gel for only $5.95. And here it is. And what you do is you just put a little in your hand, a nickel size, and then you massage it and you put it on through the hair. And you make sure you get the sides very well. That nice, clean, sophisticated cut. Yes, and you too can look like this. Look ugly. <laughs> <laughs> you, do have to, you have to call Dr. Dan yeah. Sai for, to, to get You're rid of the handsome. turkey now. You're handsome. See? Yes. And she's doing that. She's doing that for the tip. No. <laughs> <laughs> and you too can look like this.